Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to ABC Tutorial channel. This is part 13 of Student Management System playlist using sp.mbc with AngularJS. Before you start this video, please watch previous videos of this series. In the last part of the series, I have shown course how to course entry using sp.mbc with angular.js and store procedure how to insert and delete data okay and in this part i'm going to show you how to edit data tbl course so let's get started when i click edit button then data will be loaded in the course entry page and when i click update here then data will be updated successfully in the tbl course table so first of all i'm going to visual studio and stop the debugging now i am going to create in this course controller get one record method so from the section controller i'm going to copy this method get master data by id just copy it copy it and paste it here okay and we need to change the section DAO. so we need to change the section DAO as a course DAO okay and paste it here also and we need to paste it here okay and we need to change here we need to use three columns okay section batch ID course ID and we need to pass this course ID master okay just copy this one and paste it here and also here okay and we need course id as a course id and we also need section id section id okay we also need this batch id okay it's already declared here and we no need section name we need this course name okay just copy it and paste it here okay and we also create in this dull course dal we need to create this this method okay from the section controller and if i go to click this method just cop copy it load data by master id dal just copy and we need to paste it course dal okay just paste it here and we need to call this course id okay and course id we need to call it here also yeah and we need to create a stored procedure to get one record so just copy this stored procedure name we need to modify this so here is section master data by id just okay close it just modify it and we need to change create and we need to call need to change the name course 
course and we need to call this course table okay and this course id here and also for here and this course id will be here okay and execute this store procedure okay we have successfully created get course master data by id just copy this store procedure name and paste it here okay okay now we need to call in the course controller js function to load get one record so from the section controller js here is our section controller js i'm going to copy this get one record okay just copy and we need to paste it course controller js and paste it here okay and we need to change the controller name we need to call this course controller just going to this course controller js and paste it here and we need to change the method name okay we need to call this get master data by id okay and paste it here and okay and control is to save we need to change the parameter name so okay we need to change the url path so we need this controller name okay and if i click edit button then it will become this page just copy this page name and paste it here okay 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 and this is our parameter query string parameter okay and we need to use this query string parameter in this entry page so i'm going to this course entry page and we need to call this query string initialization just copy and we need to paste it here okay 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 we need to call this get one record function in this course entry okay we just declared here okay with parameter query string okay and run this project let's see what will happen okay i'm going to in the list view and click edit okay it's failed okay we need to check 
in this section controller js we need to check sorry we need to go to this course controller js okay just stop the debugging and run this project in another browser okay just run this project and if i go to post name page okay and click edit button okay you can see here in this browser it's working okay but this section name is not loaded so we need to check our code so i'm going to visual studio and we need to call this load section by batch id we need to use this function here okay so just I'm going to copy this function and paste it here and we need to call this batch ID so we can call it by this way okay and run this project And go to post name page edit button okay. okay you can see here data has been loaded here now when I click the update button then data will be updated successfully first of all I'm going to visual studio and stop the debugging mode and from the section controller I'm going to copy update info so just copy the update info okay and I'm going to use it in the course controller okay just paste it here and now we need to call this course id okay and okay now we need to create update info down method so from the section controller and i'm going to this update info down and just copy this method name and i'm going to paste it course dal here okay and we need to change this name so we need to use course dal okay and we need to call Management system table okay course table we need to call four parameters okay so just copy course id and okay just copy course id and use it course id and course id we need course name okay just copy course name and use course name and course name 
and we also need patch ID patch ID patch ID and we also need section ID section ID and section ID okay and now we need to create stored procedure to update TBM course data just copy this update section by master ID okay and I'm going to programmability stored procedure this one this one just modify this and I'm going to create okay and we I'm going to change this name course okay now we need here these four parameters so I'm going to just copy this name course ID as an integer course name in worker okay and now we need patch ID integer Section ID integer okay and now we need to query for update course information. So I'm going to copy this table name and paste it here and we need to use course name. Course name, batch ID, batch ID. We need also section name, section name. Okay, and we need to where con in this where condition we need to course ID. Okay, and execute this query. Okay, stored procedure has successfully created. Just copy this stored procedure name and paste it here okay now we need to call this update info in this section controller js okay from the sorry we need to call it call it this course controller js so i'm going to copy from section controller js this else condition just copy and I'm going to paste it here okay and we need to change this controller name here URL so I'm going to use course Okay. this is our controller name and we need to call this json function this one update info and paste it here and we need to use this course id scope and here also okay click control s to save it and i'm going to run this project Okay, and I'm going to post name and click edit button. Okay, and I'm going to stop delete all breakpoints. Continue. Okay, you can see here data has been loaded, and I'm going to change this name. 
update and click update option successful okay if i go to list view you can see here course name 2 has been updated okay if i go to database and select event course edit all rows okay you can see here name has been changed okay now we need to insert student information so I'm going to Visual Studio and here I'm going to create in this controller folder I'm going to create add controller MVC5 controller empty click add button and I'm going to give a name student controller okay and click add button okay and here I'm going to just remove this and I'm going to write here student list and just copy it and paste it here and and change the name student entry okay and click add view and use a layout page and click add button okay we successfully created a student list page and also I'm going to controller and click add view and use a layout page and click add button okay we also created a student entry page and in the next part of the series I'm going to show you guys how to student information entry and that's all for today see you in the next part of the series thank you so much for watching this video have a great day